Well, how do the chums? Good morning to thee. Good morning. All right, okay. So, quest one of the Light No Sky Challenge. This is what Cynical and the Crayola Kingdom managed to actually accomplish when it comes to the things that they managed to get over to Cynical. But you've got to keep in mind, Cynical did perish twice and had to lose everything that his crew had actually amassed inside of the quest. But I honestly don't think the quest side of things was Cynical's real focus. He was more into building fortresses, building up his defences, building up his offences. Did it work out for him? Well, you're going to find out in this episode, people, because today is the day of PvP, and I'm going to be jumping into PvP, and we're going to see how that goes for him. Heck yes. But I've already had news that he's already massacred some of my 07 Brew Crew. So anyway, that's everything that Cynical got inside. So here is how the 07 Brew Crew did. If I just move myself up a little bit there, you can see we've got a shed load of relic treasures. We actually got the most relic treasures of any of the teams. But did we get the most valuable of treasure? Did we get quantity and not quality? We shall find out in a moment. I got all these sack venoms. I say I, our team got all these sack venoms. I got roughly about 30 sack venoms and I did get one of these. I think this one here was the one that I unearthed. But yes, the most valuable amongst these was this one here. I can't remember who passed me this one, but whoever did, fantastic work and fantastic work to everybody that handed in any of these things inside of my crew yeah, i know it wasn't easy handing stuff in because i had to be online we're all in different time zones you know i was sitting idle every time i was working from home so yeah did try my best but sadly we didn't get it maybe i need to set up a fixed time that actually works for all time zones or something next time we do this i don't know but scrolling down so i had 149 sack venoms and the most valuable one was this one here at 2.1 2 million. 2.1 million is what we managed to get, I guess. And that was my highest value relic. You can see here, Cynical and Ricey are in here. This is our group chat. Anyway, I'll scroll on down. So here's Ricey's. Now, Ricey had to use two vaults. Now, there's a lot of stuff in here that technically I think he was giving out to some of his crew. But they actually got less relics. But did they get better quality? I mean, they've got a lot of gold. Look, they've got three there, the massive chests. And the chests usually go for the highest sort of value. And he's got some jars there as well in gold too. But we shall see. So he's got quite a lot there. The sack venom is actually almost got twice as much as what we managed to gather in the 07 Brew Crew. So yeah, the sack venoms. Looks like Ricey had quite a lot near him. I mean, near to the old brew crew, we had a massive great big swathe of ocean. And the land masses probably weren't as established as maybe over in the Ricey's neck of the woods. Who knows? But anyway, 07. Well done, you guys, for everything you managed to collect. Fuck yours. Lovely jubbly. And um, scrolling down a little bit further, you can see here, Ricey's highest value item was 2.2 million. And that, again, was one of these sort of Gex sketches. Yeah, stained by tears. Okay, people. So, overall, Ricey won Quest 1. So, um, M Empire took Quest 1. So, let's see who wins the actual PvP. Will it be Cynical's Crayon Kingdom? Or will it be the 07 Brew Crew? Or will it be Empire? Let's uh, jump on in and find out, people. Well, how do their chums, does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm jumping into No Man's Sky, and today is the day of PvP. So I need to go into options, go into difficulty, change this over to survival mode, and then I need to go into networking, put it into PvP with anyone, and let's have a look around then, shall we? Let's see if we can find anybody on here, some network. Uh, view nearby players list. Let's see who's online. Cynical is online. Holy fudge. Okay, right. He could probably be coming for me any time now. So let's have a look. See. Let's have a little gander outside. Now he's already messaged to say that he's taken out some of the brew crew. Um, so that's fun. Oh fudge. Okay, I found a hole. Hiya! I'm out of the hole. Now I could do with finding some compondres. Um, how far away is this guy? 12 hours. Okay, so he's not anywhere close. Where is Cynical? Where is the little git bag? Let's have a look for him. Okay. Okay, we've got this guy over here. We might be able to join his party and hopefully take on the old Cynical. Righto. 
Let me see. Nearby playlist. Bum, 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 bum. View nearby playlist. Mikey the man child. Uh, can't invite. He's currently busy. He's going to have to be careful because Cynical's probably going to get him. Um, I can't see Cynical's player marker anywhere. Makes me slightly nervous. Don't know where he actually is. Hmm. Okay, well, if I can make it to Mikey anyway, strength in numbers. Budgeon hack. Just got bit by a blinking plant. Don't want that to happen too many times. Heck no. All right, anyway, I reconvene if something interesting happens, people. But my head is on a swivel already. I'm in my battle vest. Heck yeah. One hour away now, so I'm getting very close. I've hit record again. So, people, Cynical has taken out pretty much the whole of the 07 Brew Crew. At least the uh, posse that I was trying to form. What about Eastlick? Have you killed Eastlick? Uh, yes, I think. Oh, for fudge's sake! Dang it! <laughs> We've got Dranon in the house. He's a ghost right now. He got murdered by Cynical early hours of the morning as well. Yeah, I'm just spectating. I won't interfere. Okay, Koki. Okay. Nice. Cynical's only one hour away now, but it's it's not in real life type time. I mean, I can see his worm is now heading down towards the ground. He's over there. He's only like... Yeah. Oh, for fudge's sake, I keep getting bitten by bloody plants. This planet's riddled that, with them. That so can, can you, you see how many uh, minutes I am away now? Um, oh, Ominous is here. Okay, accept. Hello? How you doing? You doing I'm, good? I'm good, mate. Yeah, good. How how's your morning been? It's uh, it's been strange to be fair. I've heard that you know my whole crew has been murdered. I I don't know, mate. I, I must have been bad weather that got him. Probably something like that. Little kid. What the fudge? What Whoa. hit me for with extreme heat damage? Jesus. What the <laughs> fudge you, got you me? You still alive over there? Yeah, what the fudge was that? What the, the flying fudge have you got, mate? <laughs> Somehow... It done me massive damages. Like, set me on check, fire check, or check. something. It set you on fire? What? Yeah. It said massive heat damage detected. Oh, extreme damage protection. Mm -hmm. No. Die and again. No, you got me. Oh. You get back. Oh, no. Dang it. Darn, Cynical got me. I don't know how, but it looks like he's got a neutron cannon as well. Darn it! Okay. Oh, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back. You got me. I got you! You got me. You got me as well! <laughs> we both killed each other! We both killed each other! <laughs> Holy fudge! Well, that's a draw. That's us both out. Fudge! The Empire wins then! For fudge's sake! <laughs> 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 no, I'm just thinking that. Oh, God. No. I'm oh. right. I managed to win. Without win doing anything. Yesterday. Now the planet, without yeah. even firing a single shot. Fudge and hack. Okay, well, I don't feel so bad about my death now that you died at the same time. That, that's kind of cool. Dang it. But all my shields were there. That's weird. My energy bar started going down without my shields going down. Did, All right, was, I was blasting you with, let me have a look, uh, the neutron cannon. Yeah. That's what I had. That's what I was hitting you with. It must have done the same with you. you, you did your shield stay as max reading? I think so. I'll have to look back over my footage, but yeah. That I mean, is you bizarre. literally got one straight, like, one full charge straight at me, and my shields, everything, well, my, my, my health just went straight down. I'm like, oh my god. I couldn't take another one of those, and then you got another one off at me at the same time. I got one off at you, and that was it. We're both out. Both dead at the same time. That was insane. That was fun, though. 
that was freaking craziness. Okay. Right, well, I guess that's good news and bad news at the same freaking time. <laughs> oh, no. Man. All right, well, fair play. That was a good match. Um, fair play. And dang you for killing half, well, virtually all my crew, to be fair. I don't know who's going to be left. But, yeah, it's not us. We're out of the running, Cynical. Yeah, I, I think most of my, my group are, are out. I'll have to convey, but so far, it would seem that Ricey is... Uh, Championne. Either in the lead or as one. I'll have to confirm with my group. Yeah. All right. Well, at least I can use my ship now and go back to my old base and just make a save there. Yeah, might as well. Oh, fudging heck. I haven't put any launch thruster fuel in it. Might as well go back into creative mode then. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, at least I got revenge for yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Yeah. 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 Well done, you. And uh, I guess well done me as well <laughs> for the revenge of my crew that you just murdered. That was fun. <sighs> but it's definitely added an extra dimension of play to No Man's Sky. I can't say. I mean, for a lull, for a period oh, no. of time where we haven't got much to do, this has been freaking great. It has. It really has. I've really enjoyed this. Like, it's been such a, a unique and different way of playing No Man's Sky, and I think it's really brought the community together more so, especially through these quiet periods. Thank you. Yeah, totally agree. So next time there's a quiet period, we'll find ourselves, I think, a planet this time that's got creatures on already, like, you know, some beetles or butterflies. And we'll probably start fresh new saves all over again, isn't it? Yeah, fresh new yeah. saves, definitely. Yeah, fresh new planet. I know we're going to do these other two planets in this system to see who can claim all of it. But um, I'm wondering whether we should just go to a different system, wipe the board. Because the thing is, is people know now where this is. So even if we do rule people out, they all know where it is, so... Yeah, it's been compromised. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd invite Dran on in, so I can tell him what happened. There you go. Alright. Hello, Dran I'm on! Going... Oh, there we go. Guess what happened, mate? It looks like you guys killed each other at the same time. Yes! That's exactly what happened! It was freaking insane! <laughs> So, Cynical got his revenge for yesterday. I got my revenge for him killing you and, you know, Ominous and all that. So, you know, I think Empire wins. What a cop-out, though. It would have been nice if Ricey was online at the same time. Wouldn't it? That would have been freaking great. But, oh, yeah, well. That would have been nice. Yeah. So, Cynical's here at the moment. What are you doing the rest of your day, Cynical? Ah, it's going to be a lot of editing now for me. Just chopping up this entire story that's just happened. <laughs> including yesterday. I've got everything to get out today now. Cool. Yeah, same. Yeah, I've got to put in the, you know, Empire won the actual collection and quest and me and you have just tied for joint last. Yeah. Great. No. Oh. <laughs> well, I... yeah, it's no problem. You guys have permission to use me in your videos, my voice and stuff. Sweet. Not a problem. Oh, I try on. Well, at least um, you can spectate the rest of the, what's going on, I suppose. I suppose if we just tell people that are not involved just to stay in creative mode from here on in, and they can spectate if they want. Um, but that's pretty much it, isn't it? I suppose we know who's dead if they're in creative mode. Yep. Yeah. Sounds good, man. Yeah. Cool. That sounds about right. Lovely. Uh, so I guess we give it for the rest of the week. And we should... We might as well just say that Empire has won. Well, and then again, somebody from your faction might rise up and kill everybody, yeah, inside of Empire. Hey, eh, cynical. Uh, possibly. Possibly. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, people are just joining and coming off, and it's hard to keep track. I need to actually get like a day. Hi, cynical, if you can hear me. Team. Congratulations on this morning, mate. Excellent game. Well played. Yeah, that's ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Yeah, he was my. Uh... He was going to be one of my like sheriffs. It was, I was hoping he would be with me. He had a secret weapon. Did you even get to use your yeah. secret weapon, Ominous? No, I didn't use it. I thought, and to be honest, I thought, in all fairness, hmm. I, I shouldn't use it at all. Um, yeah. Simple reason being, the rules clearly state hmm. survival mode PvP. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what your secret weapon was. I just heard that you had one. So... No, well, if it breaks the rules, then it's not really much of a secret weapon, I suppose. But, OK, well, Cynical is mode is all down. However, ominous, me and Cynical killed each other at the same time. Oh, quality yeah. stuff. <laughs> oh, so, um, so, basically, 
Does that mean the Empire's won? It means that the only leader surviving is Ricey. That doesn't mean that he's going to stay surviving. I'm hoping one of the members of the Brew Crew is still about. Somebody that's slightly OP or something that can go and take out the Empire. And I guess Cynical has just got to hope the same for his crew now. Yeah, well, as I said this morning, yeah, congratulations, Cynical. Play the perfect game. Nah. For some reason, I can't hear ominous, so I don't um, know if speaking or not. Well, but... unfortunately, yeah, I'm, I'm being blasted by pirates at the moment. Okay. <laughs> well, ominous <laughs> just said a fantastic game there, Cynical, and um, he took it like a, a gent. He, he's saying, you know, congratulations on your win. No worries. Thank you, ominous. Cool. Yeah, Professor Cynical can't hear you, ominous, and I'm guessing you can't hear him. No, I can't, I can't hear anything um, Cynical saying. But yeah, it's, it's been a pleasure playing the game with you all in it, and it's been a pleasure playing against Cynical. 100% agree. Like, yep, and I would like thank you for teaching me all of those glitches. You're a legend. Oh uh, yeah, he's, uh, Cynical, he said, thank you very much for your channel and all of your glitches. You're a freaking legend. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate that, bud. Thank you. Sweet. I'm like some sort of medium communicating words from the grave. Then again, we're all in the grave now. <laughs> all of all four yeah, of us yeah. are dead. <laughs> dead yeah, poet society. Dead yeah. yeah, brilliant. Dead poets. So, can I quote the line then, Captain, my captain? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Dead poet society. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Brilliant. Well done, you. All right, people. Well, I'm going to get editing this footage. Thank you very much for taking part in in this event. We will be doing another one. We're going to wait until we're going to have the update, the No Man's Sky update, hopefully. Then after that, we we come back with version two with all the rules, all sort of like hard coded. Well, not hard coded, but better than they were this time. Yeah, absolutely. Sounds good, man. Absolutely. absolutely. Cool. All yeah. right, guys. Well, I'm going to leave group. I'm going to go and edit this video. If that's all right. Yeah, I'll be doing the same. Thanks, everybody. Leave the group. Cool, yeah, yeah. May, yep. may I suggest a Star Wars themed one? No, we're going to do another light no fire one, but I'm thinking, well, we're thinking that maybe it might be easier if we actually align ourselves with the factions. So I might be Viking, Cynical might be Gek, Ricey might be Korvax. So at least we can tell each other apart from a mile away, you know? Well, guys. There we are, the No Man's Sky Light No Fire type crossover event has come to an end for me and also for Cynical. I mean, we can stay in creative mode and just view what's going on. But yeah, uh, me and Cynical took each other out. That was like proper pistols at dawn. Can't wait to see his footage back. Uh, I know that I gave it my all. Hey, kids. And although I'm not victorious in that battle against Cynical, I'm slightly gutted, but at the same time, it's the taking part that counts, isn't it, really? It just means that we've handed over perhaps an easy win to Empire. Yeah. Thank you. Until next time, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Like no sky, the sun did rise. Captain Steve's crew majority perished to his surprise. Professor Cynical on his giant error And made his way over in the 07 crew did burn Captain and Cynical went toe to toe, they both